Okay, so Djokovic is out of the Australian Open at the fourth round. Um, he's lost to Hayon Chung. That's not the surprising bit. The surprising bit is he actually went into this tournament knowing he had this elbow shoulder problem on his serving arm. He had the same problem at Wimbledon. He needs surgery on that arm. And I've gone on about the welfare of players and should they, you know, when they get injuries, just take the next couple of tournaments off and heal. Um, but because men's tennis is so competitive at the top, you can't afford to do that really because you drop out of the top 100. But these star players can quite easily make it back. Um, I honestly have my my worries about tennis players and their, their welfare. But that's a video that I've done before. It's another video for another day. Djokovic, I think, with this injury, misses Roland Garros and maybe, maybe misses Wimbledon with this elbow-shoulder injury. It's the same army injury in Wimbledon last year. I honestly believe this could be damaging. For the, it's like Murray with his hip. They, they played on through injuries they should have let heal properly. That's when Adal and Federer, in the last year or so, suddenly come back because they had the injuries, they took some time off, they healed up, then they came back at their own pace. Um, I honestly think Djokovic rushed back and has possibly sh this injury could possibly shorten his career same with Murray they're saying oh we'll play again but Djokovic just he was complaining about the heat in the entirety of the time he was out in Australia and a lot of players have but he was very vocal on the heat and he was very vocal about the scheduling of matches um, that happens every tournament players are vocal about something with the schedule but the heat has been a big talking point and I do sort of agree with them to a point but at the same time you got to look at their training regime. Should they have more water breaks during games? There's all sorts of things that could be done. But you can't use that side as an excuse because his opposition player beat him in the same heat. Simple. Um, and that that's basically it, really. He's out. Which basically means there's a big hole in the men's draw. Carl Edmund could... Uh, be the dark horse for this tournament the way he's playing Carl Evans playing really really well um, no Murray Nadal and Federer are floating around but Carl Edmund dark horse he's looking good and with Djokovic out of the draw he is a dark horse and he's already getting a massive payday from this massive payday as long as he invests that money wisely he could do really well but Carl Edmund's being a dark horse um, Djokovic him dropping out has left a massive hole where Hayon Chung has gone through to the quarterfinals unexpectedly um, Carl Edmund believes he can win this tournament and I have every right reason to believe he will um, when one of the big four is missing through injury another one of the big four gets beaten early on in the tournament like this it leaves a hole in the men's draw and a lot of players Vavrink is not there he's one of the big players who's, who's uh, fallen by the wayside um, so yeah there are it's getting more competitive an outsider could really do really well um, and I believe Djokovic could, could be out of Wimbledon because of this as far as away as Wimbledon because of this, this injury he's just, he has sustained. I honestly believe that could be his year derailed. He, he's going to need surgery. There's no way he, he won't. Um, look at Murray with his hip as a prime example of a player who tried to train the injury out, made it worse, crippled himself. Simple. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, my dark horse, Carl Edmund, and I'll do a video on that um, later today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.